Hello YouTube people! Today I'm gonna do a little bit different video because I just feel like doing it. <laughs> so I have just got a message that I have received a watch in a PO box in one of the supermarkets which is actually a little bit far away from me but it's close to my mom's home. So you know what I'm gonna do today? I've, let's go together, let's pick that watch up, let's go to my mom's place and let's do a little review on that watch. So I don't know, it's gonna be this video is gonna look a little bit awkward, maybe gonna be a little bit boring, but you know what, the most important thing, I'm just enjoying doing that. <laughs> I actually wanted to do this for quite a while, so yeah, let's, let, let me put my shoes on and let's go. Okay, let's go down the stairs. I feel like this camera needs a little bit wider angle for these kind of videos, but it will do for this time, okay. So yeah, fourth floor. I live at fourth floor. Okay, okay. Not gonna lie. Walking outside with camera in my hand and talking feels super awkward. Feels so awkward. <laughs> but I just wanted to do this for so long. So let's just do it. So I park my car away from the trees. I hate when leaves fall on my car. And it's dirty like every day. It's dirty anyway because such is the climate. Also, take a look at those black wheels. I'm so happy that I have painted them in black. They never look dirty somehow. It just I don't know. It just looks so good. Previously they were previously they were white, and that was annoying. I had to clean them so often. Okay, let me figure it out. Where, I sh where should I place the camera? Maybe you know what? I'm gonna put the camera right in this gap. You know what? I'm not gonna edit this video. I'm gonna leave it as long as it is. I know, just for fun. You know, so in the evening, I sometimes I like lay down in bed and watch videos how other people drive in the cities. Well, videos are usually way better than this one. <laughs> but I just like to see how other places in the world look like. Oh, sorry for the music. I'll turn it off. Let's turn the music off. Let's go for a spin in Konas. And you know what interesting thing? Uh, the place where I live at in Konas, where I have actually born and lived all my life. This city is actually kind of small. I would say only 300,000 people live here. Let, let's let this guy in. Only 300,000 people live in here. Also, when you think about the country where I live at, Lithuania, only around 2.8 million people live in the entire country. And now another very interesting fact, which I have looked up on Google <laughs> before I started going. <laughs> so, uh, there are only around 2.2 uh, million people in the entire world that speaks Lithuanian, my native language. Isn't that crazy? Well, according to Google, I don't know if the statistics are correct, but it seems like correct. Only 2.2 million people in the world speak my native language. How crazy is that? Yeah, so I'm not used to speaking all the time, so I'll just, you know, shut up sometimes. Especially when I drive, I'm, I'm one of those people who can't multitask. It's like either I am speaking or I am driving. <laughs> and doing two of those things together is, is kind of difficult for me. So anyway, speaking about the language, my Lithuanian language, only 2.2 million people in the world, entire world. When you think about it, there are cities in the world that have bigger populations then there are people in the entire world that speak my native language. Isn't that crazy? Actually, you know what? A few days ago in the evening, I was watching a video about a big city in China. I don't remember the name of the city. It's like Shenzhen, Shunzhen. I, I, sorry, I can't pronounce it. I don't even remember. But the interesting fact is that uh, 30 million people live in that city. 30 million! It's like in the city. 
And in my entire country lives only 2.8 million people in the entire country. It was so crazy to watch that video. It's it's unbelievable. All sky skyscrapers everywhere, everywhere. I would love to visit such place one day. I wouldn't. I sorry. I wouldn't want to live in such place. I'm super happy living in Kaunas, in this city. This is absolutely wonderful place. Actually, you might not think that way, but. Um, let me tell you, I live here all my life and I don't want to change my, my, my place. I, I want to live here all my life. It's just such a wonderful place to live. And I may gonna make a video about Konas one day, explaining why I love living here. Everything is just such a nice place. It's constantly growing city. You see new buildings uh, each year. Uh, bike lanes are being laid down. Uh, new parks are being built for children to play you know skate parks and so on it's like the city is growing and growing and like infrastructure each year is getting better and better it's like it's it's so nice to live here it's like if you compare to some other fancy places might not look like much but what's the most fun thing the most important thing is that i see improvement each year it's not nothing going down everything is getting just better and better uh, roads are being fixed and new bridges are even being built as I, as I told you new bike lanes are being laid and that's very important for me I actually feel that because what I do for a living is I actually sell bicycles I have little bicycle shops set up in my mom's home and I do feel each year that people want bicycles more and more because there are more and more bike lanes laid down around the city and now uh, government is trying starting to lay down new bike lanes between the cities this is just crazy it's just so wonderful and I just absolutely love riding on those bicycle bicycle lanes myself in the summer I'm not much of a bike rider to be honest with you I'm a little bit lazy and when the season is good for ride a bicycle when the weather is nice I usually have plenty of work to do selling bicycles so I don't have much time riding them okay what's happening what's happening can I go oh I may be go I may be gonna fast enough to to get on the green light yeah we got on the green light I don't know how is the video looking like I don't really I don't <laughs> you know what well, the, the main reason why I'm doing this is because I myself want to see how it's gonna look like <laughs> how it's gonna turn out maybe if if I'm gonna end up liking doing this I may gonna get a camera with wider angle or maybe something specific for for this task and make better next time we'll see we'll see and you know what right now I'm worried if uh, I have my microphone on is my microphone on or not right now I don't remember <laughs> it should be on I hope it is on because otherwise I would have to scrap the entire video right maybe one day I'm gonna make a video just you know putting camera somewhere on a bumper or something so we wouldn't see the car itself you would you would see only the you know the city and I would go around filming and telling you things about this city I don't know might be interesting might be not well for me I actually like watching videos like this where people just drive around and show the city but those videos that I watch I usually you know the entire screen you see is just uh, the view of the roads of the city instead of you know dashboard and so so anyway so I told you it's pretty far away from my home but it's like pretty far away in terms of coldness but in terms of you know I don't know where you live at it might be just you know a few minutes right my car only now is getting warm <laughs> so by the time we get in the place it's like how far is it it's it's probably eight kilometers away yeah it's something like eight kilometers away from my home so not that far when you think about it when, when I order something online I can choose which PO box I want to receive the item and all supermarkets around this place have multiple PO boxes 
but Christmas is coming and most of them are very full right now so when the courier can't fit the package in one PO boxes in one of my chosen supermarkets he brings the package either next day to that PO box trying to fit it in or maybe to the next supermarket which is the closest one you know tries to find a place to fit it in so sometimes that's what happens but no big deal I, I'm not complaining now what watch I'm going to pick up it's one of those ultra cheap watches I don't have much hope about the quality but I have some hope how much fun that watch is gonna be like because it's a very fun looking watch it's, it's the, the design of that watch is rather rather interesting and I would even call it maybe a little bit probably beautiful but you know it looks nice in the pictures how is it we'll see Okay, let, let me take over this lorry. Red light. I hope nobody is turning left. I hope nobody is turning left because we would have to wait quite a while. Sorry for not editing this video. I just want to see how this turns out. So you get to see everything. I'm, and also I'm not the person who would be you know speaking something interesting I'm not the one who would be interesting to listen to for a long time <laughs> I know there are people who can speak and speak without stopping and actually can say something interesting and I kind of enjoy watching them and listening what they have to say me however I'm not that type of person I'm um, actually you know what interesting fact uh, according to the IMBD tests uh, I am 99% introverted person like 98 99 something like that it's crazy when you think about that it's like I'm introverted to the point where I actually honestly hate people it's just I, I, I don't lie I cannot lie it's just that's how I am I just hate people it I, I may look nice on camera I might look friendly and all but you know when I speak to the camera I speak to the camera I don't speak to the people uh, when people buy something from me when we have something you know a common interest to speak about or something I'm nice I'm, I'm a nice person I'm a good boy but but when you know I, in general I just hate people to be honest I see people as animals people's homo sapiens for me in my eyes are just you know some filthy animals it just happens that we are those filthy animals and filthy I mean in a way that in the way that how people behave I see them like monkeys if that's right way to describe it it's like monkeys uh, are unpredictable okay they beat it, each other they cheat on each other they you know steal from each other but you know people are just the same okay I'll let you in go let you in this is a learner learner car nice car by the way nice color I like blue color nice color car so yeah was well, speaking about homo sapiens I just see them as uh, some kind of primates and I don't like them very much I don't like this species <laughs> speaking in general as a homo sapiens okay I would like to change the lane to the right if there is opportunity quite a lot of cars today usually there is not so much traffic but yeah as I told you in the beginning of the video Konas is expanding and growing bigger and bigger each year so I kind of have to get used to these kind of traffic conditions right not far away like 200 meters to my PO box right in this big supermarket there is PO box where I should find some nice things for myself 
actually one thing probably sometimes i get the message that i got a package and sometimes there is just one thing in the package sometimes there is a bundle and this time i think there is only one watch we'll see but wouldn't be surprised to see something more because i have ordered quite a bunch of ultra cheap watches so yeah i'm honestly i'm a little bit uh, regretting doing that uh, as a previous review of the Azola watches like you saw for yourself the, the quality is just so awful it was so awful I mean I had very good experience in the past with Skimi watches uh, with Sander watches and now I tried other brand and I was absolutely disappointed okay I'm not gonna place my car in the spot for disability can I place my car here yeah for the short period okay let's play place it backwards so it's easier to leave I'll be quick I'll be quick okay I'll be back yeah I got the package I believe it's only one watch maybe you know what I always open up the package in a car I never wait till I get home so let's do that using car case it's a little bit different unboxing of what you used to see in the, on youtube right Sinobi. wow that's nice packaging for such an ultra cheap watch wow wow so i guess the whole you know budget went into the packaging <laughs> instead of the watch <laughs> anyway let's see how is the watch Oh, it has even protective film all over the place. Nice. Let's peel it off. This gives me hope that the quality might gonna be good. Well, at the first look. Hold on, let me clean it off a little. Okay, that's actually a pretty good looking watch. That's a pretty nice looking watch. Okay does the crown work the first question does the crown work hold on a second yes the crown works oh that's a very interesting looking watch that's exactly why i bought it okay let's go to my mom's place and do a little review of this watch okay let's drive to my mom's home to the place where i used to live almost all my life <coughs> sorry so now very <laughs> i'll always say very interesting thing there is nothing interesting about that i just tell you one of my things that i i'm afraid of actually it's like a little phobia i'm afraid to turn left whenever it's possible whenever there is opportunity to turn around at least in a 100 meters or something like that i always turn right and turn around because turning left is just too much anxiety too much stress and i just don't want that stress in my life so i would rather you know take well sometimes it's actually it's not doesn't take longer it's actually quicker some people just wait for minutes and minutes to turn left while i just quickly turn right turn around and that's it no stress very quick it's like okay now i turned right let's look for the place to turn around okay this looks like a place where i can turn around that's it yeah I'm sorry the camera felt out of the place I was turning the corner a little bit too too quickly too sharp and the camera felt out of the place so I stopped not that far away from the place where the camera has dropped like 100 meters away now the camera is back in place let's get back on the main road and let's go to my mom's home my mom's home let's push it till it's green till it's green 
yeah. Oh, this I got green, next light is red. Eh, no success. Was pushing unnecessarily. <coughs> hmm. You know what I'm excited about the most is actually <laughs> checking out how this video is going to turn out, how, how it's gonna look like. It ain't gonna look great because, well, the sun is not shining and right now it's uh, November. And when there is November, December and January in Lithuania, it's like, it's very rare to see the sunlight. It's not like I live too far in the north and the sun goes down and doesn't come up. No, it comes up, but it's always so cloudy and the clouds are so thick that honestly, I couldn't tell where is the west, where is the east, where the sun is shining from. I can't even see the place where the sun would be shining from. The clouds are so thick. It's like the entire world is like a very big softbox, <laughs> which is a little bit dark as well. So only one, well, probably two kilometers to my mom's home. So not so far away, not so far away. Oh my god, I'll start singing soon. <laughs> Sorry for that. Sorry for that. Now, the place where I'm driving by is a big lake called Lampeji. Big lake. This is the place where I grew up and I used to swim in Lampeji like almost every day in, uh, in the summer with my friends. My childhood was simply amazing. I had so many friends. I grew up in a place where many, many other kids were growing up as well at the same time. So there were plenty of us. And we, when we were going somewhere, there was like 20 of us going to Lampeji to swim, 20 of us or more riding bicycles. I grew up in such a nice, I don't know, situation, I could say. I'm super happy about my childhood, how it, how it was. So many kids growing up together is just wonderful. So now what's gonna be strange is that, well, my mom lives like almost in the center of Konas, like it's, it's the middle of the city. Yet roads around this little, like I, should, I would call village are not are not paved it. How, how is it in English? Just gravel roads. Like everywhere in Konas, wherever you go, there are roads, paved roads, okay? Some roads are in bad condition like this one, it need, needs repair. But to see roads without pavement is actually rare. And this is one of those rare locations in Konas where there, there is just no pavement. And the reasoning behind that was that for the long time there was no uh, gas pipes laid down. Uh, gas light, uh, gas pipes, I mean, you know, uh, gas that goes into uh, heating the home, also use the same gas for cooking, so there was no gas lanes. But now, a year ago, gas lanes have been laid down, and now there is hope that these roads might get the pavement. It's just, you know, the people living here would have to pay a part, pay part of that expense for the government and it doesn't look like people would be willing to pay the expense for that. They would rather drive on paved roads and, <clears throat> no, it's, it's rather expensive, you know, it's kind of, I, I, I'm not hoping to see paved roads, to be honest, unless government decides to pay the full price but I am not complaining I grew up like this all my life I just you know I'm so used to this kind of thing that there is zero complaints for me now interesting thing this is the place where I sell bicycles from and it's kind of difficult to find this place but people find no problem my dog is happy to see me my dog is happy to see me no, he just wants to go home. <laughs> it's a little bit cold outside, so he just wants to go home. Oh, fine, you happy seeing me? No, no. 
No. Guys, let me tell you something. Uh, after taking a look at this watch from up close, you know, inspecting the watch and all that, I do regret actually doing this stupid vlog over the review of this watch a little bit, because after reviewing those Yazola watches yesterday, I kind of lost my hope a little bit on ultra cheap watches, so I wasn't expecting anything. So I thought for myself, you know, may as well I just gonna do some stupid thing and do this vlog where I pick up the watch. But it turns out, this watch is just so good, it's just so good. The strap is soft, it's very flexible. I don't see any noticeable dust under the glass. It does look a little bit big on my wrist, to be honest, but it doesn't feel uncomfortable as this watch is very flat, has very flat back keys and it's very light. I don't feel this watch at all. Uh, if you wanna see measurements, check the description. I'll measure this watch myself and I'll, I'll put the measurements in the description. So that's how it looks like on a person from distance. Sorry, the sun is not shining, so it's not perfect, but that's how it's gonna be for, for a few months. So yeah, we have to deal with this anyway. Honestly, I'm very happy with this watch. I'm very surprised. Very surprised. Wasn't expecting anything. Yet here we go. A nice watch. Ultra cheap. Nice watch. It's a shame that the sun is not shining so you can't really see the colors. I may gonna add a picture on top to show you the colors but those dark wheels on the dial actually super dark greenish bluish. They look really nice. Really nice. So Overall, that's how the watch looks like. Oh, I forgot to peel this off. Sorry. Sinobi. Well, what a, what a pleasant surprise. What a pleasant surprise. Okay, let me see the crown action. Let's pull the crown out. Well, the minute hand, is, yeah, it's jerky. It's a little bit jumpy, but it's not too bad. It's not as bad as those Yazola watches yesterday. I can... Okay, let's set again, 49, 45, sorry. Yes, it moves a little bit, but it's like, it's not too bad, it's not too bad, especially at this price point. Let's see how is the alignment at 6. Alignment is perfect. It feels decent. The crown is not super, uh, super loose. It, it has some friction. It's actually pretty good. I really like the design of this watch. I don't know who they have copied, or maybe this is unique design, which I highly doubt. But I, I really like it. I really like it. It's very, it's easy to read. Nothing too fancy. Doesn't have any ticking sound. And yeah, it looks very, very interesting. I, I do like this watch. Now, how is the strap? Strap is actually surprisingly soft. Very flexible very flexible very very nice flexibility the inside of the strap is like it doesn't feel like total plastic but it doesn't feel like very breathable either but i mean considering the price point very very good strap really flexible edges have rubber hmm very nice surprise very soft feels wonderful actually okay before i move to conclusions i want to give you some final shots of the watch because honestly i really and i really am enjoying this watch it's just somewhat very interesting eye candy actually i like it a lot in person it looks so so interesting Wow, such a nice surprise. Made my day. <laughs> Hopefully made my week, but for now I can say it made my day. Really, really happy with this watch. Now, the conclusions are actually very simple on this watch. Where it goes on my website, thomaswatchreviews.com, we rate watches into different tier lists. This, guys, this one is a keeper. It's actually a keeper. Ultra cheap watch, which, which is a keeper. Doesn't happen often, but... Wow, what a pleasant surprise. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.